Hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC. Coming to you today with another quarantine lockdown video from my back garden as the UK and the rest of the world are confined to quarters for the, uh, the foreseeable future. A lot of these videos are going to be coming from, uh, from, from this environment from now on. Obviously I'd love to get outside and make some videos, bit of a shadow there, uh, but you know this is, uh, this is where we're at at this moment in time. Um, now over the last three or four weeks I've been testing out this bit of kit so mainly it's been on my daily exercise and I've been taking that with my family we've been going for walks and that's what I've been using this for so today we're going to have a look at the Hazard 4 Bandelier EDC Hard Sling it's a bit of a mouthful um, Hazard 4 gave it quite a few different names so um, yeah it's a bit of a mouthful but as far as the pack is concerned I think Hazard 4 have actually done a really good job of this. It's it's a very it's very different to what is currently out there, and that's kind of why I like Hazard 4. Hazard 4 for me are a company that are more than happy to try completely different things. Some of the things probably don't work, but some of the things really do hit the nail on the head, and I think that's what they've been able to do with this bandolier. So let's move the camera in closer so you can you can have a look. So hopefully now you can, we can get a closer look around the pack and as I usually do, we'll go around it, then we'll have a look at uh, what you can get on the inside. So a few things to get out of the way quickly. It's made uh, with YKK zippers all the way around. They are really big, chunky YKK zippers and they all have uh, accessory cord on there rather than paracord, so it, it makes it a little bit lighter, not that much. Um, it is made from Cordura and on the top here you have this hard shell which is designed to protect everything on the inside. Hopefully you can see from the front you have just a small um, Hazard 4 logo. There is a hook and loop section here on these three molly rows. You can take those off nice and simple, put on another one if you want to. Um, and if you have any pouches that you can fit on the front here, as long as it's a, a double row pouch, then you can attach that as well. Um, but also, what Hazard 4 have are their own proprietary um, hard point system. So you have two hard point system holes here. They look, almost look like uh, water grommets, just in case you were to get it submerged and the pack was that way up, but they're actually at the top. And there's lots of different attachments that you can get to these. So if you have a look on the Hazard 4 website, you'll be able to find that sort of stuff. And that's it from the front. It's, it's fairly simple, apart from, as I say, for this, this hard shell to protect anything that you've got inside. All the way around the pack is, is mainly dominated by these two large, super chunky YKK zips. It's a full clamshell opening, so the, uh, they, they open here at the bottom. Well, if, if that was the bottom, I tend to have my zips all the way at the top so you can open them perfectly on both sides. On the back, you have a really nice padded mesh area so that if there is anything on the inside and you don't want that to feel that on your on your back whilst walking with it then that will keep this nice and padded um, hazard 4's padding is just it's just next level padding and i take off my hat to hazard 4 for the the amount that they put in there it really is good and it, it stops anything from kind of impacting on your back uh, we then have two grab handles which are identical top and bottom and then we have where the strap attaches. Now this is again which I feel Hazard 4 have absolutely hit the nail on the head here. So this is an ambidextrous pack that you can carry either way and instead of having a strap that you have to unattach one side and then fasten it on the other side they have a piece of webbing which is tubular webbing then sewed which is then sewn into the, um, the stitching here to make sure it's nice and secure and then on the inside of the tubular webbing they then have um, this hard piece of plastic so at the moment this is how I carry it on this side but if I wanted to change it so I carry it on the other shoulder it's simple as moving it across like that some people they tend to overthink things this is perfectly engineered for that. There's a lot of thought being put into this. But what it also does is it means that because this can slide all the way across, if you had it in the midpoint here, 
This pack can also be worn as a waist pack in the small of your back or even on the front if you wanted to. Perfect, absolutely amazing idea from Hazard 4. The actual sling or the strap itself is a really nice thick two inch webbing and I don't know if this is a proprietary weave that Hazard 4 has but it's again it's just next level stuff it's super strong super tough and that's on this bottom side for the extra webbing that you have depending on how long you want to have this there's some hook and loops so that you can fasten that to there to, to keep it out of the way on the top it's attached with a little V um, and then box stitched onto the pack itself and then you have um, I'd probably say that this is just adequate actually so the mesh system that you have here instead of having it padded with the mesh you've just got the mesh that goes underneath here so it makes sure that it's nice and breathable but then on the top it's reinforced with some one inch webbing you can use these as daisy chains if you want to but it just makes sure that it's super tough I think it was the best idea from Hazard 4 not to put additional padding into this because as soon as you want to have this round your waist then it would make it difficult so it's it's a, it's just a balance between the two really there um, for me I think it's just about right the capacity of this which is one of the things that we haven't looked at yet so the the, the pack itself is is two liters so from top to bottom it's roughly 14 inches or 34 centimeters across it it's roughly six inches or 15 centimeters and I've got this packed out at the moment so it's about five inches which is about 12 13 centimeters so you don't particularly need to have a lot of padding in here just down to the fact that it's a, it's a two litre sling pack you're not going to be able to get that much stuff in but we'll have a look at what you can fit it uh, uh, in, in a second the last little thing to point out is you also get one of these camera links on it so if you have a type of camera that has the quarter inch screw attachment to the bottom you can you can use this almost as a hot shoe so you can attach it to the bottom here if you were to pull this extra webbing out further then you can have it so that it's always by your side if you want to take it up you can take some photos and then you can have it back down again personally i always get a bit worried that i'm going to damage my camera so i, I probably wouldn't do that but the option is there with this if uh, if you choose to last little bit on here is the um, the plastics so you have a large buckle here which opens as you'd expect and then uh, Hazard 4 have their own again I think this is a proprietary one that they use so there is a lock on here which which stops you from being able to pinch this together there's a little cam on the inside that that opens up as you, as you do that and that that's gen that's actually how it works um, I've not used this lock myself mainly because as this is a sling pack you know you, you put it to the size you want it and then you, you just slip it over your shoulders um, but I do know that this buckle is used throughout a lot of the Hazard 4 range so when we go onto the inside as you can see YKK zips open really nicely into the bottom we'll have a look so let's bring that bit around there have a look at what you get in the two clamshell openings so this is the hard shell section here this is the part that's going to protect everything that's on the inside and along here you have a diagonal zip the main reason that that zip is diagonal is that when this is closed and you're coming in from the top or whether it's the other way you're always going to be able to get into that whereas if the zip was there or there then you'd struggle depending on which side you had that if for whichever shoulder you carry it on so one of the things that I have been asked through uh, through Instagram is just to go through the kind of setup and the amount of things that you can get in here just to show the capacity so I've, I've tried to do that here and what I'll do is as we go through this I'll switch some of the things around so that you can again get a little bit more of an understanding of what you can put into here and the versatility of, of, of this whole section so hopefully you've seen these, I mean that's an Altoid tin, we all know an Altoid tin and here's my um, small toolkit that I always keep with me so they fit in there perfectly. That's this main compartment here, um, well it's the, the hard shell part of the main compartment. 
YKK zip and you also get this mesh lining so that you can kind of see in but not really but it does help to reduce the weight the mesh is it feels like it's double lined so you get the mesh on the outside but then there's also a thicker mesh on the inside to help protect anything in here from here or, or vice versa now this main section is where you get a lot of the organization so there's quite a few different pockets now as we've looked at here with um, the, the hot shoe buckle it's generally aimed towards camera users some small mirrorless camera cameras you will be able to fit in here i can fit my canon d uh, 250d in here but this has to be completely flat and i have to take this here and i also have to take the glass off the front it won't fit in um, with the with the the lens on there whereas if you have smaller bridge style cameras like the sony rx100 that will fit into this section but what you also have is two smaller pockets which you can easily fit um, memory cards, additional batteries into. If you have a battery system where you know this is the one that I've always is going to be empty, then you can put it into here and you can move them around the pack as you choose to. There's also a, a larger section here which you know I've just put in two sets of meter long um, cables into. But if you wanted to, you could quite easily put uh, a knife or something like that into there as well. And then last you've got another little section that you can put a pen into or a flashlight. There is another one of these on the side which is a little bit more elasticated so at the moment I've just got a pen in there but if you wanted to you know there's a Victorian Swiss Army knife which fits in. Um, there you go that's how it fits in <laughs> nice and simple. If you do have one of the those smaller um, tripods that, that, that aren't connected at the bottom you can slip one of the legs into here when it's closed up and it will fit perfectly down the length of this which again is I think the inside here has been well thought out as far as stitching you know I like my stitching and my lining all of this is lined um, it's very nice lining in fact it has the hazard for logo embossed into it all of the stitching is reinforced it's yeah top-notch and then we get to this section so this is this is the main part that doesn't necessarily take a little bit of explaining but it, it there's, there's a lot that you can do with this so this is designed where you can put a, a camera into there it will slide in and then and then you can open it as I say it can't fit um, a DSLR into here but you probably could fit uh, a small mirrorless camera and on the on the Hazard 4 website, they, they definitely do mention something like an RX um, 100 from Sony. So this opens with two hook and loop fastenings on each side, and what I've done is I've put in enough in here, so hopefully you can get an idea of of its capacity. So we've got a little right in the rain notepad. I've got two of my Air Deck sets of cards. I've got a, a high definition uh, media player, and I've also got my mobile phone in there as well this is the Samsung S20 they all fit into this internal section here which is a complete pass-through from both sides when it's not in use you can fold that flat fold the two tabs over it so that you can then put more stuff into there now just to show you extra what else you can fit in so there's that toolbox that I had in this top lid I can fit that in I can fit my mobile phone in, I can even fit my rights in the rain over the top. Now this probably is at its full capacity, I might be able to fit, have I got another rights in the rain? No I haven't, but I could probably fit another one of those in and then still be able to use these two tabs to fold over to the top of there, close it up and it will make sure that all of that stays in place. Um, this might be a common thing on camera bags. It's the first time that I've come across a setup like this. Um, and I'm, I'm generally really impressed. There, there is a lot that you can do with this and then when you don't want to use it, close it up and it's, it's just away. That's the main section, or at least that's the what I call the main section. What you then have is a second section at the back full clamshell opening and just to show you what you can fit in here I've got a full Shimaga in there 
if you have a lightweight rain jacket something like that that you can easily stow away that will fit in perfectly as well this back section is hook and loop so you can put additional um, organization in there if you want to from the hazard Fall website i can see that i mean you can fit a ccw in there if you're lucky enough to be in a country that you can do that it will definitely fit it would probably have to be more of a, a compact firearm to be able to get that in there. Then on this side, hopefully you can see there are two large slip pockets. Again, getting back to that toolbox. I'll leave a link at the end of this video so that you can see my review of this. Uh, and then I've already got, there was the other one that I was after, already got a right in the rain notebook in there. I can easily fit in um, an Altoids tin as well. That closes up and it's nice and simple. So now let's have a look at what it's like when I've got it on. Now would you believe it, I turned the camera around, somebody started drilling behind me. Hopefully you don't pick that up too much but fortunately there's not much that I can do about that. So as far as carrying or wearing the bandolier, um, it fits exactly as you would expect from a sling pack. It's across the shoulder, I've already shown you that you can wear this ambidextrous on either side. Uh, and it, it, it does exactly as you expect it to do. Um, do you find with a lot of sling packs after a while walking around it does tend to slip down your shoulder a little bit so you do find that there's just a little bit of adjustment that you have to do but I wouldn't particularly say it was more often than you get with other sling packs um, it, it does fit reasonably well and once it finds that sweet spot on your back it does tend to stay there um, but as I say, with, with some big jolts and that sort of thing, it does tend to slip a little bit around there, which, yeah, you know that happens. One of the massive things about the bandolier is that if you want to, you can simply unclip it, put it round your waist instead, secure this a little bit tighter, and as you can see, it fits perfectly into the small of your back. And this is brilliant. This is again one of the massive things that I think is a is a huge selling point about a pack like this is its versatility. And when it sits on the bottom of your back there, it really is perfect. The only thing that I didn't show is if you want to <laughs> that was a bit of an awkward way of putting it back around myself. Uh, if you want to you can bring it round to the front depending on which way you're holding it whether it's over a right shoulder or a left shoulder like a hook carry mine lefty then you've got the zips here so that you've got access into it um, as required cool so i hope you like this video it's another video from from the garden as i say uh, I hope you all staying safe. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. Uh, if you like the content and you want to see more of this, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so that you'll see content as soon as it becomes available. And if you could share this content, that'd be great. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Always forget that bit, but I did it before, so I'm quite sure to remember that. If you look for me on Instagram, Morlander underscore EDC, you'll be able to find me. So for now folks, stay safe, stay Morelander, stay DC.